up on the right hand side in the gray box. That's the panic button. Something happens and it gets way ahead of Carolyn. And what she'll do is just push that red button and it stops that little green belt from turning. And then she has another switch up above her. She has another switch up above her that she can use to turn off uh, the conveyor that feeds the air legs. So she has control, or whoever's working this side has control over how many nuts come down at one time. Looks like a fun job that I'm going to be sorting these out. from our processing barn and uh, it is an ocean going container which we obtained used and it's eight feet tall and, and 20 some feet long and about eight or nine feet wide and it's all self-contained now here we are looking in the back of the refrigerator and the first thing we see in it is a plastic bag around a tote with a little electronic gizmo hanging out the edge this is our controlled atmosphere storage system and we put uh, a little over a thousand pounds of fresh nuts in there at the last of the harvest and we store those under a controlled atmosphere. You're familiar with that. You know when you eat your fresh apples in August, September, those were apples that were saved in a controlled atmosphere system from the year's harvest before. So this is the same kind of a system. It monitors the oxygen level inside that bag uh, and uh, since the nuts produce carbon dioxide which displaces the oxygen as it uses it up uh, because the nuts are still alive as long as they're not frozen and eventually uh, the oxygen level would drop too low so this little device monitors it with an oxygen sensor and then pumps in outside air to keep the oxygen level at the proper level. As you can see it's not real bright in here since we don't have lights I just uh, set up a little uh, portable light out here you can see it these are just racks of fresh chestnuts and some of them have been bagged uh, and they're in these containers with 25 pound bags or two pound bags or whatever we happen to have. I bagged them up the night before so that when I come out to uh, work the next morning and bag, I have nuts ready to go. These are nuts ready to go uh, to be washed later on. Some of the bins are empty because we've been busy, busy, busy. This is about the third week. So whether you start at the left side and fill it and we fill all the way around with mediums on one side, larges on the other and jumbos on the end and not many jumbos so the end is pretty empty and um, maybe next year we'll have jumbo, we don't know, but at this point we just use them up as we go and in about three or four weeks it will be gone. Everything's gone, so this will be empty again. What you just saw was it came on an automatic device, it's a humidifier and the humidifier keeps the humidity up here at a very high level. It helps keep the nuts fresher and it keeps them from drying out. So it's on a time clock and it comes on regularly many, many times during the day and just keeps the oxygen level, I mean the moisture level up very high in this refrigerator. Works quite well. Okay, we've got a brain. We'll put them in the mixer. And a couple of towels. Every towel is brown now. They're steamed from the coloring on the outside of the chestnuts. 